Hi, my name's Simon from Motodrome. Now today we're going to take a walk around and a drive of this uh, 2003 on a 53 plate Land Rover Defender 90 TD5 um, County hardtop that you can see lurking behind me. Two videos, one walk around, one driving, plus a bit of uh, start up and idling action at the end with the bonnet open. Hope you like them. Right, so let's take this uh, 2003 on a 53, uh, 53 plate. Land Rover Defender 90 TD5 County hardtop for a spin, showing just under 79,900 miles. So it will turn over at 80 at some point soon, but not while we've got it. Um, and I've just done a few miles in it, and it's just driven down to us from Shropshire, and um, Chapa drove it down, reported no issues whatsoever, and I'm hopefully gonna do the same. All the warning lights come up and go out as they should. No um, groaning from the clutch pilot bush. That could be because it is <coughs> excuse me, really quite warm, having just done 130 miles. But um, uh, TD5s can suffer from that. It's not um, it's not an issue. Sometimes they do just get groany pilot bushes, but uh, this one isn't at the moment. But so it could be. Uh, it normally happens when they're cold and when, it, when they're warmed up, it goes away. Let's get this past. Anyway, starts on the button, no signs of any misfiring, hesitancy or overheating. It just trundles along quite happily. Uh, engine and gearbox both feel nice and letting my foot off the throttle sharply, there's no backlash in the transmission. This one's actually very, very rattle free, especially considering it's got the spare wheel mounted in the usual place on the tailgate. This road does show up any rattles and bumps. steers nicely and not having to fight it down the road at all, it's going exactly where it's placed and it tracks nice and straight. In fact for once the steering wheel is almost exactly where it should be. Not, uh, off to one side. And I have to say the heating system on this one actually works very well. Now we're coming up to the winter. Nice to have a good working heater. It has got some soundproofing on the van side, so that probably is probably helping it because it does actually sound quite quiet, for want of a better term. Under emergency braking, it's fine, that's just my lunch rolling around. Still got its original radio cassette, which uh, works. Electric windows. Working, it's, it's a nicely unmessed with one. This one it doesn't appear to have led a hard life. Nice and 
good in my opinion um, can't really find anything to uh, to fault it my name's Simon you can reach me in the office on 0118 907 1495 or you can go to our website which is www.moto-drone.com for any more info right quick video of start up and running on this uh, 2003 on a 53 Defender 90 TD5 warning lights come up as they should and go out as they should There we have a TD5 engine. Behaving exactly as it should do. There we have it. 